Officer, the approach by the UK Government and the Scottish Conservatives is indeed worrying and wrong-headed, but can I ask the Cabinet Secretary about what the Scottish Government can do to make sure that our planning system in Scotland is robust and fit for purpose? Because if we are going to see um, offshore oil and gas, new developments like Campbell and Jackdaw and, and Rosebank coming forward, what can we do to make sure that our planning system is robust? Because there will be a requirement for onshore assets and infrastructure. What can we do to frustrate the process if necessary? Cabinet Secretary. Well, Senator Officer, um, most of the licences which are issued nowadays are tie-backs into uh, existing oil and gas infrastructure that comes on to onshore. So new fuels have been brought on, tying into existing infrastructure to come onshore. So by and large, there are no planning provisions in this for uh, Scottish ministers and the Scottish Government to be involved in. The licensing of exploration licences and also for production licences solely rests with the UK Government. I believe they should be here in this Parliament. We should be deciding these policies here in this Parliament, uh, given the importance they have to our natural environment and to our fuel security in the future. But as it largely stands, when it comes to oil and gas production, uh, very often there are no uh, planning requirements for Scottish ministers to be involved in the process.